So, uh, dude, this next, I mean, hey, who can forget, who can forget about, uh, you know, who can forget about the billionaires who went, I think some of their sons went last year, the Titanic exploration was something that I talked about for literally nonstop two months. The day after it imploded, we talked about it on the podcast. Uh, the week after the whole thing happened, I talked about it with one set of parents. The week after that, I talked about it with a whole nother group of people. Again, the week after that, I talked about it with another set of my parents. And then the week after that, I talked about it again. We literally would not. America, TikTok, social media, the memes, the news, the articles, the videos. It was one of the most viral moments of 2023. The Titanic submarine implosion. Okay, oceanic submarine, like I'm talking a window that it's, it's this big. They're using a Logitech PlayStation 4 controller to control the thing. It's unfortunate, but all lives were lost. And we covered the story. Ev I mean, everyone, whether you had a podcast or not, whether you were uh, uh, just a, a normal person, whether you're an influencer, whether you had anything else going on, you were following the story. Except for like my son's kindergarten teacher. I, I made a reference to it once, like while it was happening. And she was like, wait, what, what are you talking about? And I'm like, then I had to explain the whole five billionaires, their sons, they, they paid $250,000 million dollars or something. They paid an outrageous amount of money. They were going on the sub It was a piece of shit sub. They should never have gone down that far. And it, it crushed them and it was instant. It was unfortunate in an event that literally everyone knew about except for you. And it like the, I, I made a reference and it went over her head. So everyone except for her got pretty much the gist of the story. I mean, it was the news. It was the dominant story of the news cycle for, you know, weeks and months at a time. Shout out to Liquid Death after... <laughs> It's 143 episodes. They still haven't called me. And so, um, it was, you know what I mean? Once, once the whole thing was said and done, we, uh, we, we got the official reports and we found everything, uh, to be pretty much conclusive with the reportings. The sub snapped as soon as they lost control at a certain depth. And it was a pretty much instant uh, reaction. Not uh, pretty much everyone on board didn't know it was happening, according to uh, science and what we know about pressure and water and everything else when you're down that far. So, um, what a tragic thing! What a very, very tragic thing for a very, very silly thing to do. The fact that we want, we have nothing else to do on the surface of the planet. There's not a single thing that we could potentially think of that we could possibly do, whether it be fly a, a paraglider, a jet, go on, go here, go on vacation, explore Egypt, do something on land. And yet billionaires still are attempting to, for whatever reason, physically see the Titanic, the ship that has been replicated in real life via Legos, the movie you can see it's, it's all, what you are going to see in the submarine cannot be any more visually appealing than what you would see with the cameras that we already have, the evidence, the footage, everything. So why? Anyone in their right mind. Now, of course, everyone on board's white. We get it. That's a given. It's a what when white people have too much money, we don't know the yachts, 
the play, everything. We're, we're, they're never satisfied. Some of us are, but most are never satisfied with the Will Smith. Uh, and I know we're talking about white people bringing up Will Smith, but for all intents and purposes, after that slap, I, I don't really think we're, uh, are we effing with him anymore? I don't think so. So he's more, it's fine. But Will Smith once said, once you have a certain amount of money and you realize you can just at any point in time buy an iPhone, buy an iPad, buy a Mac, but buy a boat, buy a car, buy a house. Once you've done all that, there's nothing left for you to buy. There's nothing left for you to be excited about. There's nothing left for you to feel that joy, that energy, that adrenaline, that pure, just that grasp that that you get that rage that kick in the ass when you spend money and when you spend 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 your spending gets more and bigger and bigger and more elaborate and you're going on 50 million dollar vacations with 30 of your friends on private jets and you got the island and it it's a mansion and it costs thirty thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars a night and there's a private Butler, and that's another 50 grand. And so it ends up being this big, and that just becomes not enough because all you have to do is is get one more stock buyout or one more dividend or one more movie, and you can just do that all over again. And why would you when you've already done it 13 times? And so it just becomes this mundane issue that once you reach a certain status, I'm going to guess that once you reach the 250 to 400 to 500 million dollar liquid assets in cash status that there's really not much left for you to do. And some people like the Joe Rogans of the world, once they have that, the Drakes of the world, once they have enough money to have their own jet, multiple houses, the podcast, whatever you want, the basketball courts, the podcast studios, and you're content with just doing that every day like those two are, that's the type of millionaires they are. On the other end of the spectrum, you have the ones who can't stop chasing the high. And so that's where we find these billionaires who are just coming up with monotonous ideas like going to the very bottom of one of the deepest parts of the oceans to see a rotting piece of floating iron that most of it's not even there because it's it's disintegrated and it's just a hunk of metal that is polluting the ocean. I'm, I'm, I don't even know if that's true, but I would imagine that a sunken ship built in, in, in back when it was built that the materials used probably aren't good for the ocean, but maybe at this point it might be an ecosystem. I don't know. But all I'm saying is how exciting can it, you want some thrill. Okay. Let me, let me turn you on to something. You want some thrill. If you're a billionaire, if you have more than a hundred million dollars in the bank and you, you're thinking to yourself, the only way I can get off, the only way I can get hard, it's not by going to wadpod.com backslash blue and getting some blue chew. The only way that you're going to feel satisfied as a millionaire, if you're thinking to yourself, I'm getting a sub and going to the Titanic, don't, okay? Come to a small town on the East Coast, whether it be, hey, pick an Ocean City, whether it be Ocean City, Maryland, or Ocean City, New Jersey. Just pick one. Doesn't matter. Ocean City, New Jersey is nicer. There's less alcohol. Ocean City, Maryland, more alcohol. You get the drift. And so if you're, go there. And if not, go to the other place. If family, whatever, you know what I mean? Your choice. But go to an Ocean City and literally wait five minutes. Just go there. Go to either Ocean City. Wait five minutes. Stand there. Look up. And you'll inevitably, within five to 10 minutes, see a parachute with a phone number on it. Call that parachute. Go parasailing. It's only going to cost $200. You're going to be like, what the fuck? You could buy the company. Do it. 
Buy the company while you're there if you want. It's only going to cost you like a hundred grand. They'll take it. Trust me. For two hundred dollars, it'll be the scariest fucking thing you've ever done in your life. You will be so scared. The ropes will be held together by duct tape. One of the ropes while you're up there will most likely snap. Whether it hits you in the face, that might be a lawsuit. I don't know or not, but it may or may not snap. The whole thing may or may not come off the boat. If you're lucky, one of those things will happen and it'll be even more scary for you and it'll be well worth the $200 because you'll most likely get a refund and it'll be free and you won't have to pay anything for this thrilling experience. I am telling you, if you go to either East Coast, Maryland or New Jersey, Ocean City, and you go parasailing with any of those companies, you are going, your heart is going to be pumping faster, way faster. And your adrenaline's going to be through the roof. You're going to be like, what fucking cocaine? The high I just had is gone because the adrenaline is now taken over. I'm on the fucking moon because I am scared for my goddamn life on this $300 parachute that doesn't have any insurance on it instead of being in a submarine, whether you're wondering if it's going to implode and maybe or maybe not get a glimpse of the Titanic for about 45 seconds before you have to resurface. And so all I'm saying is I can save you guys. Listen, give me the million. Listen, give me a million dollars. I'll fly you to Ocean City. We're going to have a great time. We're going to have a great fucking time. And then once we're done the parasailing, I've got one word for you, sweetheart. Slingshot. We're hitting the boardwalk and we're doing the slingshot. And for only 20 more dollars, you get the video. You get a link on your phone and you can post it on your social media for all your followers to see. You don't get that with a submarine. No phones down there. Can't do that. It's unfortunate. But here we are again. Ohio billionaires are ready to take the $20 million submarine challenge after this Ocean Gate implosion. I mean, the pressure's on, folks. <laughs> the pressure is on. And it doesn't get much better than that. We've got the millionaires ready to go. They're ready to battle it out. They're ready to go. And so uh, this Ohio billionaire is planning to take a deep sea submarine to the Titanic depths to prove the industry is much safer now that we are a year out uh, in the wake of the doomed Ocean Gate vessel that imploded last year. We're here to prove otherwise. We th Listen, we went back. We've got, hey, we've got the PS5 now. We've got an on-brand, straight from Sony PS5 controller, and this time, no issues. So we've got another $20 million invested into OceanGate. We're back. You thought, <laughs> you thought, <laughs> you thought, <laughs> You thought the manslaughter of like five people and their son, like their children, you thought that that was going to stop? You thought Ocean Gate would never try to go to the Titanic again? No way, man. And the first time, the first time they were guys from like other country. They weren't even, I think one of the guys was from here. Maybe the other guys weren't. But this time we've got none other than real estate investor, Larry Connor of Dayton, Ohio. Wouldn't you guess? Go ahead. I'll give you three guesses. You're only going to need one. The color of Larry Connor's skin. Leave a comment below. Of Dayton said he and Triton Submarines co-founder Patrick Leahy will plunge more than 12,400 feet. That's 2.3 miles to the shipwreck site in a two-person submarine. I want to show people worldwide that while the ocean is extremely powerful, it can be wonderful and enjoyable and really kind of life-changing 
If you go about it the right way, Connor told the Wall Street Journal. So, um, shout out. I mean, hey, here we go. I guess uh, we'll see what happens. You know, we'll we're 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 rooting for Connor. You know what I mean? We're rooting for Connor. Shout out to you, Connor. Dayton, Ohio, another hero uh, of of the forces. I hope. Listen. If, if, if James Cameron can do it, you know, Connor from Ohio can do it. Why not? Why not? Connor and Mr. Leahy. What, why, what could go wrong? What could go wrong in the, I think they called it the Titan 4002. So, you know what I mean? The first one imploded. Uh, but the second one, they are confident will, uh, will make the trip. And if, if that doesn't give you the hope and, uh, the confidence that you need, um, then, you know, Hey, what are we going to do about it?